Hey folks, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use HLSJS for streaming your media. I'm using Next.js and you can use any framework and libraries that you want. First of all, we need HLSJS package, which I clearly installed. And then you need some source to stream which I'm going to use Bitmovin default HLS source thanks to Bitmovin it's a great website to use to test your streaming now we have to understand what is HLS first HLS is HTTP live streaming also known as HLS which is developed by Apple that's enough to know and I'm gonna tell you later why is that important so head back to VS Code we are going to import HLS and we are going to use use ref hook as well and we are going to create an instance of user and attach it to a video tag so I'm gonna call this video ref and here in return I'm gonna create a video tag and put ref in it Here also we have to type it to HTML video element and the default value should be null. So now I'm gonna copy the meat source and put it right here. I'm gonna call it source. And yeah. So to use HLS, I'm gonna delete the image first. To use HLS, we need to use use effect as well. So in here, I'm gonna write use effect. With the empty dependency. So there are some part of HLS that we want. The first one is clearly we have to create a new instance of it. So you write HLS equal to new HLS. And then we have to check if HLS is supported on the client device. So here we say if HLS is supported now we have to load the source say hls load source and load the source and nothing happens because we didn't attach the media so we put the video ref that we created and we are facing some issues and yeah we have to check if the video ref is available first current dot current let's check and yeah it's showing up but we need controls as well so here say controls and let's style it a little bit say full so auto 20 and yeah as you can see it's showing up and it's streaming but this is not going to work on iOS but why HLS is developed by Apple so Apple specifically iOS devices they have their own implementation of HLS 
and by own I mean they are more simple to do all you have to do is put the source directly in the src let me comment this code and delete the ref and let's check as you can see nothing is showing up here because we are in windows there are multiple steps that you have to take to implement on both devices uh, you have to create a device check utility for example and then check the device and then show the different method of implementation of HLS if the, vi if the device is not iOS this code works fine but if the device is iOS you have to put the SRC directly in the SRC attribute on video tag thank you for watching see you in the next video